Hello everyone, uh, Steve here. Uh, today I'm here with my good friend Ali and we're going to talk a bit about bass in Mafra. Uh, so Ali plays uh, bass in our band Mountains. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I also played in, uh, play and play in two other math rock bands in South Korea, um, which is the entire of the South Korean math rock music scene. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very small. Yeah, it's very, very small. Yeah. So I was very fortunate to find Steve, I guess. Um, and yeah, so we thought we'd... Um, I know a lot of the Steve subscribers have asked about math, uh, about bass in math rock. Yeah. yeah. So we thought we'd uh, do this little video, talk about how we write together, mm -hmm. um, how I write to Steve when he brings ideas to the table, and... Um, hopefully give you some mm -hmm. yeah, good ideas as well. Right, you, exactly, yeah. 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 Uh, I guess I should point out at this stage that, unlike Steve, I have uh, zero background in um, music uh, in an educational sense at all. I kind of came to this by chance, and everything that I've learned has been um, through fortunate Oh, the fortune of meeting other people who are much yeah. more knowledgeable about this than I am. I guess um, more the the practical side of things. Just yes, exactly. <laughs> playing in yeah. many bands and stuff exactly. that helps out. So. Yeah. So uh, yeah, what what are we gonna do then for this lesson? Um, so. so first, I thought we would talk about uh, now. First, before we start, actually, I should point out this is all um, my personal approach to writing a throck with bass. So uh, take everything with a grain of salt. If yeah. you don't agree, yeah. that's fine. I certainly have my own uh, views of what music, what bass should sound like within math rock. So first of all, I thought we should look at melody and how mm. the bass, generally a music bass is seen as just rhythm, as kind of holding the song together. But I feel yeah. like in math rock, bass has a lot more freedom to be melodic, to uh, yeah, play definitely. higher up the note to uh, be a counterpoint to the guitarist. Yeah, especially in like three piece bands, yeah, you can do a lot more, I think, there yes, as well. So. Absolutely, yeah, there's definitely yeah. more need for the bass player to be playing uh, more melodic parts. Um, so we're going to have a look at that. Um, let's start off, I guess, with uh, melody. So how you approach writing melody to our, our song. So we'll give you some examples of that, I guess. OK, um, yeah. so how about but first you play the uh, the example that we're going to do. Um, we'll just hear Steve playing it on guitar first. Yeah, so uh, I'll probably point out that we are a, a free piece in our band, if you didn't know already. So we have my, myself on guitar and vocals and Ali on bass and Andrew on drums. So a lot of the time I'll come to practice and I'll have some ideas and then um, Ali will put something to them and it always comes out sounding great as well what he does so <laughs> like <you>. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the idea that we have here is from a song called Future and it's uh, towards the end of the song the bridge section of the song so That was the idea there. So mm. because I'm singing over most of that as well, I like to try and just keep repeating the same thing and not really uh, changing up so much. So that's where it gives Ali a lot more room to come up with some kind of melody and rhythmic ideas over that. Right, so, and, yeah. and so when Steve brought this to practice the first time, um, I saw that you know the, the first two stab chords and then he goes in something a little more picked. Um, and for me, that's an opportunity to kind of put some melodic parts to the parts where he's picking as well, just to add more melody to the song, to that riff. So should we try playing that part together? Yeah. So yeah, that was, uh, I, I think, hopefully an example of where bass players might just stick on the root note or yeah. perhaps even try and do too much, uh, especially at the beginning with the stabs there. Personally, I f don't enjoy listening to do, uh, the bass player doing too much when it's not necessary. So I will start on the root note when he's stabbing and then when he goes to... Um, the kind of uh, finger-picking part. Yeah, kind of finger-picking part. I will try and add more melody on top of that. 
So that's a, an idea of melody there. So there are plenty more of them within our music as well. Right. But uh, we just look at that example for now. So, sure. Yeah. Um, so the next thing I, I guess we should look at as well um, is something that you can you can hear in that part as well, which is the idea of progression. Mm, um, yeah. I think with math rock, you have a lot of like separate parts that kind of uh, are stuck together. Uh, yeah, to changes right. in time signature, changes in ideas. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things that a bass can do is glue that all together mm -hmm. with um, a bass line that starts perhaps starts simply and then changes maybe just a couple of notes here and there as the section goes on and this will then lead it into the next section yeah, that it's yeah, doing. Right. Um, and this is something I try and do a lot in, um, in our music and in other bands that I play in yeah, as well. Yeah. Right, so uh, we have an example of that. So, what, mm -hmm. what song have you got for that? So I think it's uh, again, another of our songs. Uh, this yeah. one is called Present. So, well, if you want to play it, I'll, first, I'll so play. I'll play the the part itself first. Mm -hmm. In this section of the song, that uh, piece repeats on and on, and it's kind of like you said, the progressions. You know, the more drums and the you know, bass line changes, and the vocals right. become more heated and stuff like that. So I guess what you want you want to say is like uh, as that section progresses, then you know, the bass can the become bass more complex as well. Yeah. More going on, right? More notes going on. Maybe yeah. even change a few notes here and there. Um, and again, it's all to kind of uh, lead the song on. Where uh, where the guitar may be just repeating something, yeah, the bass yeah. or the drums can it kind of becomes move the melody in a way as well. As sure, like yeah, the, absolutely. Yeah, so. Uh, so let's have a go at that together. Yeah, sure. okay. So yes, in that example, um, I'm kind of playing the same bass line, but at the start I'm playing a very simplistic version of it, mm, um, yeah, one yeah. or two notes, and as the part goes along I'm adding notes to it, uh, and at the end I'm playing a few bass chords, which is something yeah. I love to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they, they sound great. Uh, those were originally on the guitar, but then uh, Ali started doing mm. them on the on the bass, which it sounds really full and meaty. I really, yeah, I really like that. So, mm. yeah. um, okay, so uh, the last thing that um, I wanted to talk about as well is that um, I think in, in math rock, bass can be the lead, and it can also, as a bass player, you can be the driving force, you can be the writing force in the song. So for this, we're going to use an example from another band of mine, uh, called Visuals. In that band there are a lot more occasions where I would write a bass line or I'll write a bass part and I'll take that to mm. the band and we'll create a song around that. So in this example um, Steve has learned the guitar parts of my other guitarist Ethan um, yeah. and we're gonna I, show I an hope example. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's tried anyway. Sorry, Sorry Ethan. <laughs> um, do you know any uh, bass players that do this in, in math bands? Um, well I think the, the main example obviously would be um, Elephant Jim. Uh, uh, obviously a lot of their music is based around yeah, I'd bass. Say so, yeah. Um, yeah. She is much more talented bass player than I am. <laughs> she can do much more than I can. Yeah. But um, I think as a bass player, you shouldn't be afraid to sit at home and write songs, write parts to songs, and and you can you can put just as much into the band as um, the guitarist or the drummer. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So, so yeah, let's have, have a go at this example. All right, let's try yeah. this. <laughs> Thank you. 
yeah, yeah. Nice. Good but, job. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, Ethan, if I butchered that. <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> um, yeah. So in, uh, again, not so much in the band that I'm with Stephen, but a lot of other bands there will be um, a yeah. lot of high bass parts that kind of um, are the, the center force of the part in the song. Um, and I think as a bass player, that in math rock especially, that's absolutely fine to do. Mm. So it's um, you so you don't really need to worry about always having the like two you know a lot more members in your band you can do a lot with just the three of you right so, yes absolutely so, yeah yeah so um i mean obviously well. the thing that suffers from this is your low end will drop yeah, totally yeah. um but if you're okay with that like <laughs> I am, <Yes>. so then <laughs> Go but you can always it. like write two parts and when you record put it put it on there. I do a lot of that too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's definitely that. Yeah, so is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, um, any advice or anything like that? So. No, no, not at all, I guess. I mean, um, I guess my only advice would be like don't worry if you don't have any uh, if you don't have any musical background like I do, uh, if you're fortunate enough to surround yourself with musicians who are far more um, technically talented than you are, it doesn't mean that you can't play and yeah, you, know, you can't do it. You can learn a lot from yeah, just other people, I'd say, being in yeah. bands. No, so, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so there's that, and, and also as the bass player, don't be afraid to um, you know, uh, be the writing force in your band, don't be afraid to... Yeah, don't be that, I guess, that stereotypical role of a, a bass player, what people think. Yeah, just playing yeah. the root notes and stuff. Yeah, um, and on the other side, don't be flea. Boy, <laughs> needs, to, boy needs to learn some restraint. So, um, okay. yeah, find that happy medium. Yeah, and um, if anyone has any questions, would they it'd be right to contact you? Yeah, about, well, about um, if you send your questions to Steve, he will pass them on to me and I'll, yeah, I'll get yeah. back to you very quickly. Yes. Yeah, that'd be good. So... Um, yeah, so uh, bass players rejoice. We finally have a, <laughs> a video for you. <laughs> bass pride. Bass pride. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so uh, that, I would say that's everything. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll be back again soon with another video. So bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. -bye. <laughs>